I am on holiday, I'm sitting in the middle of the field in Norfolk, it's pouring with rain, there's loads of notes to thunder and the internet is, I know this is like really, really bad planning for me to come on holiday for a GCSE results day, but I kind of like booked the holiday a bit spontaneously last year um, without actually looking at calendars when GCSE results day was, so I didn't plan on being on holiday, obviously why would I plan on being on holiday? Um, but I have sent my husband and the kids off so that I can um, chat to you guys today, answer your questions. Um, uh, yeah, so sorry the first stream cut out, um, but I'm back. So, all right, Jake, got all nines for the subject you want to take at A-level. Excellent work, well done. Um, hopefully some of those are science and then we'll see you next year. Um, hey guys, still Life Smoke Bacon, nice. Um, yeah, next year's going to be really, really exciting. Um, A-level, maths, biology, chemistry. Yeah, we're going to be really good. Um, right, past English, having failed them in the mocks. It's really excellent, excellent progress. Well done. Um, oh, these are going really quickly. So anyone going to break down marks for each paper? For some examples, would you do for some examples? For some examples, you don't. Your teachers will be the best person to do that got nines in subjects i don't care about but the what eights are the ones you took for a level yep those are great great grades and i understand that getting eights in the ones you actually want to do for a level can be a little bit annoying but just focus on the fact that you got into a level course i assume you got into a level course um and uh that's the next step that's the next progress that's the main thing that gcses are for and um yeah if you're doing a level chemistry a level biology we're gonna have a really good time um, next year because I have so much stuff coming up. I am so close to having finished the whole of A-level chemistry videos. It's going to be about nine hours long. Yes. Um, it's nine to the ones you want to do at A-level, Jimmy. That is really, really good. Well done. Excellent, excellent work. Um, you guys have been working so hard. I can see it in the stats. Um, when they little grass and you chew it up a little bit. And I can see you guys revising. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. Black Void, excellent work, well done. Um, you, uh, damn, we're told to get four, five in chemistry, wouldn't get into a little biology, came out to an eight in chemistry. That is absolutely fantastic work, well done. I can tell that you've worked really, really hard. Molly, what does an X mean? It's going to depend slightly um, on the context of that, but it probably means that they don't think you sat the paper. Um, if you know you definitely sat the paper, um, then go and talk to your exams officer because it might have got lost or something. These things do happen. I had um, a student one year who came out um, with a zero for her paper three. Um, that was when combined science was a bit different. And... Um, uh, they just lost her paper three. Um, these things uh, do happen, so please don't talk to your exams officer. Luca, excellent work. Um, well, these are disappearing a little bit faster than I can read. Um, Platypus Meow, good name. Um, eight grade eights and three grade... Eight grade nines and three grade eights, so many numbers. That is really, really good. Excellent, excellent work. Well done. Jeannie, I'm really glad I could help with your chemistry. Glad you improved from a seven. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm so, so proud of your hard work, guys. Um, uh, I spend the majority of my time just sitting in my spare room talking to myself. So these are like my happy days um, when I get to come and see how hard you uh, um, did. Um, for AQA English, yeah. For, um, I don't think AQA Science are giving out the grades. Um, for compliance science it's a little bit different because all of the papers added together make up your overall grade. <clears throat> so the um, the grade boundaries for the individual papers are a bit, it's a slightly more complicated situation than things like um, where you, for the example where you just have like one paper or two papers because there are six papers and all of the grades go together to um, um, give your overall grade. 8-8 eight, eight in combined science. Excellent, excellent work. Um, this is so good, guys. Uh, AC Fieldbert started off GCC Science Foundation, moved up to higher in year 10, and you ended up getting a 9 today. 
That is absolutely fantastic. Well done. I'm really, really proud of all your hard work. Um, three nines in all science exams. Excellent work, MC. Really, really good. Um, I, I am so, so proud of all the hard work you guys are putting in. Um, I can see it paying off in the messages, in the comments that I'm getting. 12, 8s and 9s. Ella, that is fantastic. Well done. Um, I've got five in English. Will it apply my application to six form? The rest for eight and nines. Um, I would say no, but the um, entry requirements are down to the school or college. So ultimately, it would be up to the individual school or college. Um, just because I've said no, that doesn't actually mean much, but I wouldn't think so. Uh, eight and nine. Actually, that's in combined science. Excellent, excellent work. Well done. This is so good, guys. I'm so proud of all the hard work that I can see you're putting in. And I really hope that you can appreciate the work that you've been putting in and that you are proud of yourselves. Um, I know lots of newspapers have been really negative um, about this, but um, you guys have put so much work in. Breakdown for Edexcel. Yeah, so I think Edexcel are going to need to break the individual breakdown of papers on the exam selects, but I don't think AQA are this year. They're just doing things um, slightly differently. AQA is doing lots of things slightly differently this year. Some of the things have worked very well, and there have been a few computer glitches with a few of the other things that AQA have put in place, and they haven't gone quite so well. I know quite a few teachers are rather um, frustrated um, about it. Um, I think that it is just a um, an AQA thing for um, science and English, um, whereas the other examples are giving out the individual breakdowns for different things. Seven in GCSE maths, that is fantastic. Well done. Um, if you do want your individual breakdown for papers, then the exams officer or your teachers um, will be able to do that. So your teachers got um, more access to things um, about one o'clock. What time is it now? It must be gone one o'clock. Um, uh, so they have more um, um, data for you. Um, is it harder to get a nine this year? No, it is actually a little bit easier to get a nine this year because of the generous grading. Um, because they wanted, um, because in 2021 the, there was a massive grade inflation and people got very, very high grades, there were lots and lots of nines. They don't want you to be unfairly advantaged because you sat exams as opposed to the centre assessed grades that were, um, that were out before. Um, so what they've done is they've actually in generous grading to make it a bit easier for you to get nines. Um, one mark away from an eight in chemistry, you should celebrate your excellent, excellent seven. Um, unless you need an eight to get onto A level, which would be very, very high entry requirements, in my opinions. Um, just be happy with what you've got. You don't need to do anything um, in particular about that, I don't think. Um, oh can't see anything coming on chat. I don't know whether that's because you guys run out of questions or whether, oh, it is a question. Do I think advanced information should continue? This is a tricky question. So 2023 students have obviously been disadvantaged, but not as much as you guys have been. So would it then be fair to give the 2023 students advanced information considering they've had less disadvantage than the 2022 students would that be fair to you because it's making their exams easier and then we have seen a few quite a few instances today where grade boundaries have actually gone up because of the advanced information focused people's revision so much that actually everyone got very very high grades and um, we can't just have grade boundaries going up and up and up and up and up because we can't have everyone getting like over 90% in their exams. That's just not going to work. Um, so I do not think there will be advanced information for next year's exams. Um, 2023 students should just deal with it. I mean, oh yeah, we all have to deal with a lot um, for the past few years. Um, I'm sure they will think they need advanced information, um, but I, 
I don't haven't heard anything um, about that. Um, mm, third year uni student, <laughs> yeah, A-levels in 2019. I'm really glad I could help you <laughs> all the way back then. Um, you got a pass in your speaking instead of distinction. I would not do anything about that personally. I don't think that makes a big difference to anything in the future. Um, I personally wouldn't do anything about that, but the only thing I'd suggest you do is if you're really worried about that, that difference between past and distinction would be to go and talk to teachers about why. Um, that's what I recommend. Uh, one mark off a grade seven in English literature, should you get it remarked? I would say if you need an eight for something like getting onto your A-level course, then yes. But if you don't, then try and be happy with a seven because um, for something like English literature, which is very subjective, you can see quite a change in marks when you get things remarked. And with a remark, things can go down as well as up. There's no guarantee that after you pay for a very expensive remark, that you're going to get a higher grade. Leo, absolutely fantastic work getting into college. Absolutely brilliant. It doesn't necessarily matter what grades you got at all. As long as you got enough to get you onto the next stage in your life, then absolutely fantastic. Well done. Um, haven't even applied for an interview in your own school, getting nervous. I would definitely get in contact with them um, and see what's going on because uh, school starts again soon um like a week and a half um yeah so definitely try and get in contact with your school and see what is going on um yes everyone should be incredibly incredibly proud of themselves um for everything that's going on it's been a really really tough couple of years um uh is it necessary to take foreign language or will it fit my chance of entering college this is a really good question. So you need to take your foreign language to get the EBAC, the English Baccalaureate. Whether actually having the EBAC, the English Baccalaureate, makes any difference at all is completely up for debate. And I did see a report recently that the government were considering scrapping the whole idea of the EBAC because there was so little uptake of languages at GCSE. Now, I know there are some universities, like I'm very sure it's UCL, if you don't have um, a language GCC, they make you take a language course in your first year. So some universities think it's very important, other universities don't think it's very important. I would say if you're aiming for the one of the like top 10 universities, definitely go and have a look at the entry requirements and see how much they rank uh, having a language GCSE. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Oh, UCL's dropped its requirements from modern foreign language now. Thank you. That is useful information. I will admit I haven't actually looked at their website recently. Um, I think they were the only one that um, had it. I can't think of any other ones or know of any other ones that did it. Um, and the numbers for foreign lang modern foreign languages are massively going down, which is a shame. Um, but the people are focusing on things. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, like the thunder and lightning started about six o'clock this morning so and we're in a tent so we just had to get up there's no way anyone was sleeping so we just kind of like peered out like the the little tent and we just sat there wrapped in our duvets um watching the fork lightning going over our tent in the pouring rain it was great yes just proper british thing to be in the camping in the middle of a field in a pouring rain in August. It's like the most British thing you could do. Oh yeah, naps. Naps are a really good idea. Um, like just full stop, naps are a really good idea. I think one of the best things about going from sixth form to university is that when I got home from university at about four o'clock, I just had a nap for an hour. It's amazing. Uh, one more from eight in English language. I am tired. I'm one mark of an eight in English language. Personally, I wouldn't get it remarked unless you really, really, really need to get that high grade. Um, but I don't think many places require have such strict requirements for that high grade. It has been chucking it down all day, yeah. Um, 
like I was up so early this morning, like about six thirty. There's fault lightning over the place, and I'm like, I really hope this isn't like a sign um, <laughs> for how the day's gonna go. One mark of a nine in both biology and chemistry. I understand how frustrating that is for you, but let's just really, really reframe that and say you got amazing, amazing high eights and uh, absolutely well done on your amazing high eights in biology and chemistry. Absolutely brilliant work. Um, yep, yeah, uh, we got to Norfolk on Monday and we're staying through to next Friday, so we're doing 11 nights in Norfolk. Sleep very well in lightning weather. It was a bit loud, to be honest. I mean, it was very, very loud. It was right on top of us. It was proper fork lightning, and uh, there was no way anyone was sleeping through that at all. Uh, two marks <clears throat> off a nine in maths. Again, I get that it's frustrating, um, but you could lose marks. Maths is one of the ones where it, it's a bit more, it's less subjective, unlike English or history. Um, get your teacher to have a look at it and see what they think, but I don't think, personally I wouldn't, basically. Um, just consider that high eights, very, very good grades. Oh gosh, I'm yawning again. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna have to call it a day there. I'm gonna pop onto the, um, the vertical video platform. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that name on here and do a live stream over there. So if you've got any questions over there. Um, oh yes, I get incredibly nervous about exam results, literally like, <sighs> so nervous. So incredibly nervous about exam results every single year. It's like all of my students, I'm just like, oh my God. Um, right, guys, if you've got any more questions, drop them in the chat and I'll do my very best. I'm literally spending all day answering questions, answering questions, answering questions. Um, yeah, well done guys, I'm really, really proud of all your hard work. Um, hopefully I will see all of you next year, that anxiety every year, I know, it's awful. Um, hopefully I'll see all of you next year for A-Level Chemistry, which is my subject, and I've got an A-Level Body teacher who's joining me, we're going to be smashing this out of the park. Um, bye guys!